I've got a new exhibition it begins in December. It's called Some Winter Pots. It goes in in David Street in the centre of London, and it's a wonderful gallery. I've got this very strong image of being deep in the winter, looking into this gallery at night and seeing the whole exhibition, seeing this great, long, generous sort of refectory table full of all these, these, these vessels, some with gold, some without gold, and being able to see the exhibition, you know, um, in deep winter and know that beyond that there's this dark room with these black, dark, beautiful black vessels waiting for you there. I have this strong feeling that we just need things that, that we need immediacy, we need things back in our hands again. And that's really what this whole exhibition is about. It comes out of that yearning. That whole strange wrongness of the world through this pandemic has been about not touching things. They can't touch each other. Every surface has to be cleansed and, and, and every trace of contact taken away from it. But my whole life is about making things and then seeing someone else touch what I've made, seeing, seeing that object in someone else's hands. And I felt very bereaved by that experience of that disjunction between not being able to touch things, hand them on. And I had in my lockdown two iconic pots locked down with me, um, incredibly beautiful Chinese pots, um, both Sung Dynasty. One, this beautiful Chun glazed bowl, deep, dense glaze, extraordinary jade-like glaze, broken in the 17th century and mended uh, with kintsugi, with this extraordinary golden lacquer line. And the other bowl I had, bear with me, the other bowl I had was also a Sung Dynasty bowl, which has been mended in some village somewhere, just with a piece of iron folded over, rusted, stapled together and raw. And it was that idea of, of showing where you are by what you make showing the imperfection, the brokenness, the, the disjunction, the, the bloody tearing apart of, of the world that's going on. Make something and, and, show, and show that in, in the vessels. Throwing happens in the other space in my studio, high up, it's a very private space, and that's where my wheel is, that's where I listen to music. As I, as I work, and, and that's where I throw, throw these dishes, throw these lizard charts. And then downstairs, I carry them downstairs, and then we have two kilns of... This one's just finished. Don't do this in public. You never know what's gonna happen. Ah. And that's perfect. It's perfect for gold. Maiko's great friend, Japanese artist, is working on doing this kintsugi, this, this golden lacquer uh, repair work on some of the very big dishes that, that cracked spectacularly in the firing. So making, glazing, firing, um, and mending, all these different parts of this process happening in different parts of the studio. I came up with the idea of, of beating lead very, very thinly uh, and then gilding it. And, and just like this beautiful mend from the 17th century, um, I've been mending my porcelain work with this golden lead mark attached to it. But then I also had this um, deep, need to make another kind of work. And so I started working with my black glazes and I made 
17 large lidded jars and a dozen bowls, all with this beautiful, dense black glaze on it. Some of them with these same markings on them, some with kintsugi with that golden line in them. One of the extraordinary things about lockdown has been this, this feeling of return. You know, we've been returned to the place we're in, uh, the family we have. And in my practice, I realized I was returning to, to particular forms that really, really mattered to me that I hadn't made for years, for, for over decades sometimes. And actually, it was this dish form, this open, open form, but also the lidded jar, which of course is, you know, is, is one of the great kind of key vessels. Have a jar, a lidded jar, a container. Um, it's, it's, you know, what's it for? You, know, you, you, you use jars like this for, for, for the essential things in life, and whether that's, you know, food or pulses or someone's ashes you know it's for it's for the absolutely key key things in your in your life <laughs>